my granddad worked here. So I was like, right, that's it. Saw all the beautiful cars out on the road and I was like, I wanted to work with them. He was quite a big influence because he's the one that's had this amazing career here. I wanted to follow in his footsteps and like have the amazing job and this network and just to say I work for JLR. That's really what I wanted to do. So I knew about the level three apprenticeship and I wanted to go on that. So I said that to my careers advisor and she was like, why would you want to do that? I was a bit like, oh, okay, I actually can't do it. Cause I was thinking I wasn't clever enough or I wasn't the type of person to be able to do that. I'm a engineering apprentice at JLR. <laughs> the fact that I, that is my career now, that is, I'm on it, I'm here, and I can only move up from there. So within JLR, you are included. You will never be made to feel like you shouldn't be there or you're out of place. You're, you're all learning. We all learn at different stages, different rates. I am working on things that not everybody knows about. And, you know, I can watch the news and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I've got, I've had an involvement with something quite big, which is amazing. I'm going to qualify. I'm actually, I'll be a qualified technician. I'll be qualified in what I always wanted to do. So I will be quite proud. I feel really strongly about women in engineering. So more groups, more events, more activities for women in engineering, go out to STEM events, to schools, really promote that it's for everybody, this industry. Just keep trying, just don't give up and um, work really hard. If you've got something you wanna get, just keep aiming towards that.